That's all eyes on Sri Lanka, where early results indicate a win for Anura Kumara Desanayake. Official results of the landmark presidential polls are expected to be announced later today. As of now, Anura Kumara Desanayake of NPP party is leading with around 42.9% of the vote. Sajid Premadasa is trailing behind at over 30% and Ranil Vikramasinghe is in the third position with just over 16%. Votes have so far been counted for 50 out of 160 polling divisions. Well, when counting began earlier in the day, the San Ike had a massive lead with over 50% of the vote in early trends. But as of now, no contestant holds a majority. Well, in Sri Lanka's election system, voters can mark one contestant on the ballot or rank three contestants in order of their preference. If no contestant gets 50% or more of the vote, a second round of counting factors in the preferences of voters whose first choice did not make it to the top two. Well, counting is underway amid tight security. The Election Commission has been praised for holding what many observers say as the most peaceful elections in Sri Lanka. The big focus remains the three anticipated preferential contestants, Sri Lankan President Ranil Vikramasinghe, main opposition leader Sajid Premadasa and Marxist-leaning challenger Anura Kumara Desanayake. The election is widely seen as a referendum on Rajapaksa's successor Ranil Vikramasinghe, who has restored some stability through austerity policies backed by the IMF. On the other hand, the measures including Tax hikes have left millions struggling to make ends meet and are unpopular with many voters. And well, for more on this, we're now being joined live by A. Jitendra from Trinko Male in Sri Lanka. He's a political analyst and director of Think Tank Center for Strategic Studies. Uh, welcome to Vyond. Sir, now I want to seek your assessment of the early trends coming in. The votes of 50 out of 160 polling divisions have been counted and the numbers are 42.9% for the Sanaike and around 30% for uh, uh, Prema Dasa. How are you assessing uh, these early trends coming in? Perhaps it does signal at a closer race uh, between both the top contenders. Yeah, the, 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 according to the results announced so far, it's, it's clear that uh, Andhra Kumar Desanayaka is at the, at the front. Uh, in my view, he's going to be win. I mean, uh, it's not a it's not surprise. Already we expected that. Uh, uh, he's going to win definitely, no doubt. But the, the thing is, is he able to get the 50% or not? Uh, it's, it's a questionable right now. Um, maybe he can able to get or not. If, but definitely, if if the if the situations uh, push to go to the second round mm. counting, definitely in the second round counting also he can able to win because uh, you know if we look at the uh, results so far, uh, there is a big gap between the first and second. So in that sense, definitely he is going to he has a, he no doubt he is going to he is going to win. Uh, in my ass uh, assessment. Right, uh, Mr. Jutendra, the gap between the San IK and Premadasa was around 20% a uh, few hours ago, but now they have narrowed down. Uh, there's a gap of uh, less than 15% between both the top contenders. But I want to talk to you more about Ranil Vikramasinghe's performance right now. He has, uh, till now, the early trends show he's only at 16.21%. Um, uh, do you think that these early trends signal as to how the Sri Lankans have not really approved Vikram uh, recovery of the fragile economy in Sri Lanka? Yes, the, uh, you know, if you look at the results, I mean, it's particularly in the deep south, the southern part, the people, the singular people did not recognize uh, 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 his, uh, his uh, promises or his rhetoric about the economic reform. 
so that the results prove that I'm, I'm not saying the result saying it's very clearly, but the singular people in Deep South, they did not accept the Rani Vikram Singh uh, can able to uh, protect the singular people and and uh, and uh, and the well-being of the nations. That is uh, the result saying. That's why they 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 they, they select the Andhra Kumar is the right person to lead them. So and that's that's uh, that's the thing. But Rani Vikram Singh, you know, already uh, he he did not succeed in the, he he is an experienced person. He's a he's a he's a he's a, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's an intellectuals. Uh, but but the problem is he cannot get the get the support of uh, particularly among the grassroots in the deep south. The so people did not recognize. Right, Mr. Jitendra, we speak of the grassroots, but I want to take that point forward. Let's also talk about how the votes uh, bit of the minorities, the, the, the minority votes in Sri Lanka, how has that shaped up the elections in the country? Because uh, talking about the Tamils, who are the largest uh, minority in Sri Lanka, and earlier in the past, we've seen that they vote as one chunk towards one contestant. But this time around, their votes have split between Premadasa and the Sanaike. How do you assess the role? of the minorities in Sri Lanka shaping up the elections this time around? But according to the polling in the North and East, uh, but the, the majority Tamils uh, did not uh, uh, recognize the Andhra Kumar as the right person. But they, as usual, they support to, uh, to Rani Vikram Singh and Sajid Premadasa. But this, this time, something different because, you know, this... Uh, the, the people uh, in in the, the civil society in the northern east and the and the Tamil nationalist political parties they they feel a common candidate for uh, 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 that is the, the independent candidate but the common candidate they call uh, it's a common candidate this is the first time uh, in the Tamil political history the argument is uh, why uh, the, the, the 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 successful presidents of this country and the and the singular leaders, they did not recognize the Tamil aspirations. Uh, that's why they fielded a common candidate. But the, 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 according to the results, saying very clearly, the, major, the majority Tamils in the Northern East, they did not accept the Andhra Kumar. This was happened in the 2019 also. At the time, uh, the Gotavi Rajabaksa won, but the, at the time, Gotavi Rajabaksa said, I don't need the Tamils. Tamil's votes because I can able to get the votes from the Sinhalese. But the Andhra Kumar Tusanayaka did not say in that way, but the Tamil people did not recognize Andhra Kumar Tusanayaka in this election. Right. Thank you, Mr. Jitendra, for joining us on We On. We'll, of course, be tracking whether the polls in Sri Lanka transcends into a second round or not. But thank you for joining us on We On. Thank you. Thank you very much for uh, having this. Sorry, thank you.